Kim, your radar, what's on it? Well, since SCOTUS blocked Biden's OSHA vaccine mandate, many companies are scrambling to decide on whether or not to go forward with the mandate anyway. It's a classic damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. No matter what a company decides, they're bound to upset a number of their employees and even customers. Starbucks and Carhartt, two corporations that made two different decisions, are examples of the blowback companies are now experiencing. Surprisingly, liberal Seattle, Washington-based Starbucks announced this past Tuesday that in light of the SCOTUS block, the company will no longer be requiring its employees to either be vaccinated or subject to regular testing. Immediately, the hashtag boycott Starbucks began trending on Twitter. Saints fan 5348 uh, says, I have been a gold star member of the Starbucks rewards program for at least 10 years. I will not buy another item from your company until you reinstate the vaccine mandates. You're jeopardizing the health of your customers. Boycott Starbucks. DYO Research says, I'm so proud of Starbucks for caving to freedom-loving anti-vaxxers by suspending COVID vaccine and test requirements for employees making your coffee. I will take one grande Omicron Frappuccino with no shot and a twist of ivermectin, please. Hashtag boycott Starbucks. Uh, but not everyone was against their decision. Strongbags116 says, why would I boycott Starbucks? Seems like a reason to go through the line twice a day to me. No one should be forced to take the vaccine. I like it. Now, Carhartt, the company that makes rugged, heavy-duty working clothes popular with construction workers, miners, farmers, hunters, and outdoorsmen, went in the opposite direction this week. They, an they announced that they will be keeping the vaccine mandate for its employees. And just as you may have guessed, the Twitter hashtag Boycott Carhartt was born with people both condemning and cheering the decision. Now, this damned if you do, damned if you don't reaction from the employees and the public has caused companies to, believe it or not, wish for more regulation from the government. Companies are desperately wanting a scapegoat, and nothing is better than the law. In fact, this was one of the reasons Biden implemented the federal mandate to give companies a law to point to in order to keep the heat off their backs. But not every law is in favor of mandating vaccines. Some states have banned mandates. Montana and Tennessee have banned private employers from mandating vaccines for its employees. Other states have allowed mandates but have required companies to allow for exemptions. For example, Texas allows mandates but requires companies to not only allow for medical and religious exemptions, but also requires companies to accept exemptions for prior infection and personal conscientious objection as well. So pretty much anyone who doesn't want a vaccine can find a reason for an exemption. In Florida, a company can implement a mandate but must allow for medical and religious exemptions as well as exemptions for prior infection. Otherwise, they must allow a person the option of either regular testing or PPE gear usage. Now, mandating with heavy allowances for exemptions seems to be a road many companies are quietly taking to avoid backlash while also not upsetting their employees. It's anecdotal, but people are reporting having easily been able to obtain religious and medical exemptions without really having to provide any real proof. A simple note to HR stating they religiously object seems to be enough for some companies. Now, lastly, I'd like to point out that some countries went in the opposite direction and have called for the public and companies to not discriminate against the unvaccinated. For example, in Japan, the prime minister's website reads, vaccines will never be administered without the recipient's consent. We urge the public never to coerce vaccinations at the workplace or upon others around them and never to treat those who have not received the vaccine in a discriminatory manner. So it's really interesting, um, Ryan and Robbie, I'm just kind of curious your take on this of of, uh, you know, now that the OSHA mandate has been blocked by the Supreme Court at this point, you know, of course, it could still maybe work its way through the Sixth Court of Appeals and back up to the Supreme Court. But now companies are kind of in this situation of, oh, no, you know, what do we do? We have to make the choice for ourselves. Which way do you think most companies are going to go? Do you think they're going to say we're dropping the mandates because it's blocked? Or do you think they're going to say, well, we're going to do it and then maybe kind of say, well, but we'll give you easy access to exemptions uh, or do you think they're going to lobby the states and say, ban it, just ban it so we can just say, oh, we can't. It's the law now. We can't. <laughs> Starbucks saying they're not going to mandate it is a pretty, uh, I think, big indication that they will not mandate it because, well, I don't know. But, you know, Starbucks tries to cater a reputation as a as a progressive company or a company that caters to progressive, um, I don't know, latte sipping liberals. So the fact that they did this says to me that, I mean, all companies might be might be free to. So certainly, there were, there were some that will do it just to, you know, try to speak to a certain certain employee and customer base. But 
But for the most part, I think they don't want to. And if they're not being forced to, I think they won't. And also, Although, this is, it matters. It, I think, it, frankly, it might matter, you know, over the next couple of weeks. If cases really just drop, aren't we just, like, why? Can't we just be done with this? Right. Although Carhartt is, that's interesting why, you know, Carhartt continued the mandates because they appeal towards a totally different audience than Starbucks. So that's why it's so interesting that each company chose to go in the opposite direction of what yeah. you think their customer base would want. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. And I think a lot of it uh, has to do with uh, the labor shortage. Like Starbucks, uh, needs, yeah. Starbucks needs staff. And so I think that's why a, a company like Starbucks at this point is like, you know what? Uh, we just need everybody who can come in to take a shift to take a shift. But I think you're right that there are a decent number of CEOs who would love it if, if states or the federal government would implement a mandate so that they could then point to somebody else as the person that is, yeah. uh, that is mandating them to get the vaccine. Uh, or not so, get the vaccine, one way or the other. They want a mandate, they want a law one way or the other. I don't right. know if they care which way. They're just like, just give me a law, any law, so that I don't have to be the right. one to make the decision. <laughs> don't make right. me make a decision. Yeah. Which is, the, which right. is, from my standpoint, is the worst. I, I don't want it made by legal authorities. I'll default toward, you know, voluntary, uh, you, uh, 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 private businesses can do whatever they want. I prefer they don't have any restrictions. And I, I think over time, not having restrictions is what's going to win. But if it's forced on them by the government, then it, that's going to be a lot stickier. It's going to be a lot harder to erode. So here in D.C., we now have a vaccine mandate for uh, for customers. Uh, like a, a co-worker of mine was saying that he went to a, not a Starbucks, I don't think, but another another um, uh, coffee place. And you had to show a vaccine card if you're going to, when you're ordering the coffee, if you're going to drink it in the restaurant. But if you're just right. leaving, you don't have to show a vaccine card. How, like that matter? Like it's so, it's so stupid. It's so far away from anything that makes rational sense or is based in science or contagiousness or what it like. It's just stu It's just what the government policy is, and the government policy is dumb. So and now you're allowed to spread the virus yeah. only as long as you're fully vaccinated. Right, I mean, right, that's right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. That's what we've yeah. Uh, well, thank you for continuing to uh, to hold them accountable for these mandates, Kim. And uh, we will have more rising right after this.